Well, hello stampers, it's the Pampered Stamper, and I'm coming to you from Schravezonde, the Netherlands. Um, I'll be in Holland for another four weeks or so on the 29th, I go back to Canada. But today is the first session for our uh, Penguin Place Parcels in the Post. Now you might be asking, what on earth is Parcels in the Post? Well, a parcel is kind of like a present and the post is the mail, and a parcel in the post is something that you can get from me in the mail to make your crafting life easier. So let's take a look and see what's in the um, the parcel in the post. I am, it's based on this um, bundle, the stamp set and the punch. Now the stamp set that I have in front of you is a Dutch one. It's really nice, there's not that many stamp sets that are available in Dutch, but it also, um, it's available in English as well. But for most of the cards, you won't even need the um, punch and the stamp set. Now, it is being continued on. It was in the holiday catalog, but it's not being retired. So that's really good. But the reason I want to do this parcel in the post is because the paper is so adorable. So let's take a look. So my parcel in the post is a bunch of coordinated products. So I'm starting with, um, you get 12 sheets of 6 by 6 paper. So let's take a peek. And it's just adorable. So I thought I want to make some easy cards and some fancier cards that focus mostly on this paper. So you get the 12 sheets of paper. And it's perfect for winter. It doesn't have to be Christmas at all. And I really like that. Um, they're fun cards. They're cheerful cards. We need a little bit of joy. A lot of the world is back in a lockdown. And we're all tired of COVID. COVID fatigue is real. So... Get crafty, take your mind off of things, and have fun with me. So you can see, this is the paper, and it's adorable. Now this penguin right here, he gets punched out with punch. I'll show you that in a minute. And yeah, so lots of great paper. Then you also get a sheet of snowflakes. You get a strip of um, iridescent rhinestones. You get three yards of ribbon. So you get the sparkly sheer ribbon. Can you see the sparkles in that? You get um, a yard of the denim ribbon. The nice thing is, is that all these products coordinate and you get a yard of the Just Jade ribbon with the gold in it. And then you get 10 pieces of cardstock. You get two of balmy blue. Let's have a look. Two balmy blue, two misty moonlight, two just jade and then you get one of let me see soft sea foam calypso coral basic black and fresh freesia and what's nice about this is that you'll have all the colors that coordinate with your pattern paper and that makes it easy to make pretty things and you don't have to doesn't break the bank so in the net in europe it's 20 euros um plus any mailing costs and in Canada, it's $25 for porch pickup or 33 for mailing anywhere in Canada. Okay. And I'm going to show you today the cards. I don't have them made yet. You'll make them with me. But next week, we're going to make this tower card. So the tower card sits like this and it's a spinning tower card. See? And I'm not sure if I'm going to make it Christmassy or wintry. Okay. This one is Christmassy. So usually I make two cards, but next week I'm only going to make one because this one um, takes a bit. Isn't it fun? I absolutely love it. So this one is in Fresh Freesia, but you could also choose to make it in Just Jade. Here it is in Just Jade, and I don't have any um, sayings on it yet. So, But isn't it fun the way the pattern paper all coordinates? So join me next week for that card. And today... Oh, here's another card that we're going to do. This one's super cute too. This one has an um, an igloo made with the brick embossing folder and our velvet paper, but I'm not sure if the velvet paper is still available. So I'll check with that, but this is for inspiration anyway. And then I do already have a video out with this card. This is also the creatures from that fun paper. Okay, so there's lots of things that you can do with this beautiful paper. 
So, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to start with a book binding card. And I found this on Cindy Lee B Designs. Cindy Broombaugh, thank you so much for the inspiration. At the beginning of January, you really want easy cards. I do anyway. So this one is four and a quarter inches by 11 inches. And it's scored at four and a quarter and at five and a half. And then this part gets um, glued down. So that looks like a book binding. Okay, so then we need two pieces of Misty Moonlight. One is a square. This one is four inches by four inches. And this one is one inch by four inch. Then we have a pretty piece of pattern paper, three quarters of an inch by three, three and three quarters. And this one is three and three quarters inch square. So let's make this one first. And I'm gonna use some liquid adhesive. This paper is so pretty, you just don't want to cover any of it up. But we will be covering a little bit of it up. All the colors are so nice in this paper. It's fresh. It's fun. I like using the liquid adhesive because I can move it around a little bit. It gives me a little bit more wiggle room. So you can go to my blog, to Parcels in the Post, and you can click on it if you want one. Um, I have someone in Canada that's Yvonne is making them for me. So she will help me out there. And here in Europe, you can message me and we'll figure it out. I'm not that familiar yet what uh, shipping costs are like here. So bear with me. But if you come to my class on Friday, then you can pick one up in person. That's always fun too, isn't it? There. Isn't that pretty? See, now this does not scream Christmas at all, does it? We'll put that one on that side. And I can just say we should be thankful that in English we have all the stamp sets. In other countries that is not the case. So, it is really nice to have a stamp set in your own language. There. See, so you want to make sure that your edges line up at the top and the bottom. Okay, and now we're going to put a little bit of adhesive here. And believe it or not, this liquid adhesive is super strong. So, it's actually a really good choice. I'm going to just press that down. Hold on to it. You know, a little note about my ring. My mother also has a ring with an aquamarine. And I did not do that on purpose, but it is kind of a neat reminder. Um, my parents had such a good marriage, and they still are so in love, and it's just so nice to, to have that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do the penguin. So this is the penguin paper, and here's the penguin punch. So... The punches have this little thing at the bottom. That locks your punch so that when you stack them, they're flat. If you press it this way, it unlocks, okay? You do not want to get your hands in the side here. When that goes shut, that really hurts. So you want to hold your punch like this. So upside down, then you can see what you're doing. And just slide it in like so. And then when you get it right, you slowly clamp down and move it. I'm just there. And then when it's the way you think it's good, clamp down, two hands, and here we go. Here is our penguin. <coughs> My cold is almost gone. So now we're going to put a snowflake in behind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the adhesive on the back of the penguin. And I don't have my silicone mat handy, but it would be handy to have the silicone mat because then it wouldn't stick to anything. So I'm just going to do that. Yeah, that's good. And then I thought it would be fun, well actually Cindy did, and this is not my idea, to give her a little necklace. And I'm going to use the iridescent gems that you're going to get in your parcel in the post. 
now we've got this um, blinged up penguin lady. Isn't she cute? Oh, now I knew this was going to happen. The, the glue seeped through and it stuck to my paper instead of on here, so that was not a good plan. So we're going to do this again. Silicone mat is honestly a wonderful tool, and I should have just paused my video and picked it up. Okay, so this is going to go off to the side a little bit. Here, my fingers are now a bit sticky. However, we learn as we go. Sometimes it doesn't pay to be lazy. Here. And actually, I should have waited with putting the penguin down because now I want to have my saying. This says, for the coolest friend ever. And this one says, best of Ensa. Now, when you know when in North America we say Happy New Year, in Holland, uh, they say best of Ensa, which means best wish wishes. That's how people greet each other on New Year's Day. So we'll do that. And I'm just going to cut this into a banner. And I'm hoping that I can still tuck this in. Yeah, I can. Wonderful. And we have our first card done. How cute is that? There. See, so now we have, we can stamp our penguin inside, but I might do that later. Okay, so that's card number one. Card number two also just really focuses on the pretty paper. So we're going to start with a piece of fresh freesia. And I want to show you, I was going to, I want to cut it with you. So we have our paper trimmer. And I'm going to cut this at, this is eight and a half by 11. I want to go to four and a quarter. And we use the light gray blade. Okay, so press down, back and forth to score. Turn it around and at five and a half, we're going to cut. Okay, so this color is also included in your kit. So that's the card base. <coughs> Then we have a piece of Just Jade. This is three and three quarters by five. Now, I, I don't know what I did there, but there is a bit of a line there. We'll cover that up, no worries. And now we're going to take this pretty paper and we're going to cut three strips and they're gonna be three inches. But one of the strips is gonna be down here. I think I wanna, I think I wanna cut it on this side. So let's have a look. So three inches. And then each strip is one and a half inches. So three inches. And then one and a half. I don't know how much I'm going to cut off. See, I don't want to cut the bear's head off. So I want to have that bear in there. So I'm going to do it like so. And then I'm going to trim it from the bottom. So I'm being particular here. There. Okay, so that's the one. One and a half, and one and a half. Okay, so we have our three pieces. And now we're gonna lay them on our card. So, well this doesn't seem right at all. Oh goodness, did I do it wrong? I think I cut my paper off wrong. Oh my goodness, one and a half by three, three and three quarters by five. Maybe not. Maybe it's all good. Let's see. I kind of like him here. And I'm going to do this. It just doesn't seem right. I'm going to get my, I'm going to grab my three and three quarters by five. Yeah. I think I need to cut this down a little bit. But let's have a look. That's how it's supposed to be. That's going to go on here. Okay, I'm going to figure this out. Okay, and I'm going to stop this for a second. Yes, I made a mistake. It is one and a half by three and a half. So, back to the drawing board, and I'll have to use those pretty strips for something else. So, three and a half. 
you know, it's only paper, but you know what? If it's your last piece of paper, then it's really sad, I think. One and a half. Well, now at least we have the bear. One and a half. And yeah, the proportions were just wrong. So let's have a peek and see how we're going to do this now. You know, it's not a difficult card, but when you measure wrong, it just doesn't work out. So then it's a good idea to take a step back and go, oh, I kind of like this one on the bottom here. And this one at the top, and this one we're going to flip. Okay, perfect. So it's amazing. This is going to be just a super simple card, like I said, if you don't screw up. And uh, it's just three strips from the same paper. I'm going to try this. I made a card yesterday with the um, Wild Cats, and it has some really cool paper too. So I'm going to try this card, this layout, with that paper. I would love to hear from you what you do with it. Um, I love cards that really focus on the paper because sometimes we hoard our pretty paper. And sometimes you don't can't decide which one to use, but now it all measures and, and it all coordinates and looks so pretty together. It's like quilting, but with paper, which is cheaper and quicker, which is why I love card making. I really did fall in love with card making because of the instant gratification. What other hobby do you have that you make other people happy too with what you do? You know, you can only do so many quilts. You can only hang so many um, cross stitches up on the wall. But cards, I know, I'm biased. Okay, see how nice that looks? It pops right on there. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing, and we're going to put a cute little penguin with a snowflake and a saying. There. Oh, it just picks up the colors. That's what's so nice about Stampin' Up! All the colors coordinate, all the products coordinate and you just get this beautiful um I'm just gonna I've learned I'm not gonna make the same mistake you get this beautiful product you just look so professional I'm gonna go off the side a little bit with the snowflake so that they see it there now the saying and this is uh it's kind of like hip hip hooray heap the heap heap put the peep hurrah fascia um Dutch heap for the peep they say when um you know, with a happy birthday thing, and hurrah is hooray, and fascia is a party. So I think, I'm just going to lay this on here for a minute. It just fits. Okay. Just going to trim that a little bit. So I stamped this on soft sea foam in, uh, with Misty Moonlight ink. And I just thought, when I have a stamp set like this that has a lot of sayings, I like to stamp a bunch of them out and then put, tuck them into the um, stamp case and then I have them for later. See here I have another, right, this one for the coolest girlfriend ever. Yeah, that's kind of cute too, isn't it? Okay, we'll have to decide which one I use. We'll see which one fits. These are a bit long. There. Let's see. Oh yeah, that works. If I tuck her right in there. Okay. Maybe I'll pop her up. Let's first give her her necklace. And I've lost everything. Ah! Okay. That was under my pattern paper when I made the mistake. So here we go. She looked pretty cute in a pearl necklace too, but I think this suits the fun paper better. The little uh, pokey tool, um, the newest one is a pick-me-up tool, it's called. It really helps for putting your gems on. So now I'm going to just put two dimensionals on the back of her, one at the top and one at the bottom, and that way I can tuck my tag in behind here. Oh, that one's already off. Good. So, there. Now, I think I'm going to do for the coolest girlfriend ever. And 
here we go. So we're just going to tuck that in. Perfect. It just fits. How cute is that? Isn't that fun? Now we're going to go back. So that's card number two. This was card number one. I'm just going to open this one up and see if I want to make a little snowy hill. See, we have we have this piece. It's this big long thing, and we're going to use the stamparatus. Let's have a look here. How am I going to do this? It has to go like this. I'm going to do it right on the edge. I've got to make sure I'm not doing it upside down. And then I'm just going to lay this on. You can bend it and move it if you like. There. Close up the stamparatus. There. And now I'm going to ink that up with balmy blue. And this would be a great one to use with other sets as well. It's nice to have a line. Isn't that cool? I know. How could you possibly draw it like that? Okay. And oops, now we're going to take that off and put the penguin in. Here we go, we're gonna get the penguin that's sliding. And you know, there's a, a balloon, there's a scarf, um, there's antlers, presents, a bow tie, really cute things, a little gift bag. So there's so much you can do with this. There. With, with this stamp set. Okay, I'm going to use Memento Black. And the nice thing about the Stamparatus, the Penguin, you want it to be really dark. Actually, he's pretty good the first time around. We're going to give him one more coat of ink. There. How much fun is that? We could give him a scarf too, but I'm not going to do that today. Best of answer. All right, guys. I hope that you enjoyed my video today. Um, I'm, I just love it. I really hope that you join me with the parcels in the post. I have a few left from last month's parcel in the post, which was Peaceful Deer. So you can find them on my blog. And be sure to subscribe, okay? I'm giving away a prize when I get to 4100 subscribers so just click on that red button on the bottom and here you can see where you can find me on my blog on my website on Facebook and I always love to hear from you so thank you for joining me have a super day bye